Yo, what's up, boys? It's me, Mo. Welcome back to the channel. And today, I'm just going to be going over a couple of class setups. Uh, Season 5 Reloaded happened yesterday, and with that came a bunch of weapon changes uh, to both multiplayer as well as Warzone. So the meta has kind of moved around slightly. You know, it hasn't been, you know, it hasn't really changed that much, but it's moved a little bit. And basically, I'm just going to show you, you know, what guns that you guys should be using or uh, weapons that you guys should be taking uh, a closer look at when it comes to Warzone. So I feel like f for the top tier meta, like if you're trying to use the best of the best, you're probably going to want to use Cronin, Squall and MP5. Here's the attachments on the, the Squall. Um, yeah, the Squall didn't really get changed all that much. It didn't really get changed all that much. Um, I think in the long or in the short, they basically just made it so it kills in an extra bullet. So realistically, they did, you know, stretch out the TTK a little bit. Um, but for the most part, it's still top dog. Uh, if you don't really like the squall and you want to use something a little bit more easy, like a little easier to use. And I've played a couple of games with this thing uh since reloaded and it was absolutely devastating is the freaking rpk dude the rpk is back in the meta here is the class setup that i run on the on the on the rpk right here sick and tread ripper uh high velocity change for damage range and velocity ffs OLE laser and then i always have the sd hollow thermal on my classes S I feel like if you're playing pubs on Warzone and you're not using the SC Holotherm, I actually think you're kind of like selling a little bit. Um, I mean, this was the first item pretty much that was ever banned from uh, ranked, like rank mode. And um, I feel like people have just completely forgot about it. So if you're not playing ranked, I mean, there's literally no reason why you shouldn't be using the Holotherm. It's literally like completely busted. So that's the two guns that I would probably use. If I was, you know, using an AR, so I would use RPK, or I would probably use the uh, the Cronin Squall. But another gun that I think's really creeping up, and I don't have a class setup for it, but I would say test it out is the Tempest Razorback. I feel like the Tempest Razorback is. I feel like after people use it for a couple more days, I could probably see this gun being top tier meta. Um, but I'm gonna do some more testing, and I'll bring you a video maybe soon if the gun is good or not but i would say keep an eye on the tempest razorback but i feel like for the most part rpk and cronin is definitely your way to go for long range slash mid-range options uh for close range options it's kind of still the same i know vel got a buff fennec got a buff blah 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 but i feel like the two options you should use is the lockman sub here's the class that i run on the lockman sub hollow point falcon barrel uh vlk laser uh factory stock and then the 40 mag or or 50 depending on the mode that you play um super snappy super nice before this update i did run uh the aso which i think that this is the second best option in my opinion i feel like you're either going to use the aso or the mp5 i feel like it's just personal preference uh before the update i used aso and after the update i tested it a little bit uh mp5 to me feels more consistent this is my class setup uh for the aso i'll just go over the tunings quickly you can pause it at any point here if you want to really give these class setups a go and then of course the the, the 50 round mag spiral so yeah i think it's between mp5 and aso um a couple of these other guns got buffed but I think for the most part, those are the two the two best. Um, moving into sniper support options and sniper rifle options. I feel like MCPR is top dog. I feel like this is the best MCPR option. Um, I know a lot of people don't run a stock and they use the Forge Tech Delta. But I feel like the base sniper scope with this Cronin land stock for EMS stability is super, super clean. Here is the in for this i feel like this is the best sniper in the game uh by far 
And the reason I have it tuned for maximum ADS instead of damage range is because it's a one-shot kill anyway. Your damage range doesn't really matter. And that's pretty much it. And then explosive rounds right here. Velocity and damage range. So that's pretty much, in my opinion, the best sniper. I feel like if you're using anything else, I feel like you're kind of selling uh, other than the... Uh, other than the signal, but I don't think the signal's that great if you're playing pubs specifically. So yeah, you could take off the land stock and put on the Forge Tech Delta, but I feel like this is the, the, the best setup. And then for sniper support options, there's two I really like. So the first one is the ISO. Here's my ISO build. I'm not going to show you the, the... Actually, you know what? I will show you the tune on the scope. I feel like the sight is just personal preference. Here is the tuning and everything for the iso i feel like if you want to run a submachine gun uh with your sniper this is definitely the best option in my opinion but another one and it just keeps getting buffed and buffed and buffed and buffed is the freaking chimera dude here is my favorite chimera class set up right here this thing has been receiving buffs left right and center and it's just getting better and better and better i feel like the devs really want this gun <laughs> the devs just really want this gun to be nasty here is the tuning that I use on this. Just full ADS and mobility builds. Right here. And then obviously the 45 gun. So yeah, I feel like those two options for sniper support. I feel like if you're going to run an SMG, run ISO. If you're going to run uh, AR, run the Chimera. Uh, another option you could probably use is the Veil. I feel like a lot of mouse and keyboard players love to use the Veil. Um... This is a little sniper support build I have here for the Veil. Just show you real quick. Me personally, I'm not a huge fan of this gun, but I know a lot of mouse and keyboard players love it because of the less visual recoil. Uh, same reason why they use the MP5 uh, over the uh, over the ISO. But yeah, that's pretty much all the class setups that I would kind of recommend uh, for Season 5 Reloaded. Like I said, the matter really hasn't changed that much but i will say the two main things to really keep an eye out is the rpk and the tempest razorback i feel like this tempest razorback will be meta uh you know once the pros use it and they you know see that it's it's really dominant i feel like this gun you will probably see this in meta very soon but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed the video i know my commentary isn't the best so bear with me i'm trying to get better at it i'm trying to get better at explaining stuff because that's one thing i struggle a lot with is explaining stuff but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video or learned anything new if you enjoyed it smash the like button drop a sub if you're new and i'll catch you next one peace